I chose my purpose a long time ago. You can see it in this letter. This is in the high school newspaper. The vision I had then is the vision I'm still pursuing today. It hasn't changed. And that is that we must go to space in order to protect the Earth. I always tell people uh, none of what Blue Origin is doing would be possible without NASA. And it's all of those things, all of those technologies, all of that standing on the shoulders of giants. It's going to be a commercial lander that's going to land us on the moon. And one of those landers will be the Blue Origin lander. The lunar lander itself stays near the moon and it just goes up and down. And then the lunar transport takes propellants and cargo to the vicinity of the moon. So uh, we refuel the lunar lander in lunar orbit. And he's developing this incredible rocket called the New Glenn. This is a monster of a rocket. He's developed first the engines other companies, namely a joint venture between Lockheed and Boeing, chose the BE-4 engines, and those have already been tested in yeah. space. And that rocket, called the Vulcan, flew flawlessly on those engines. My grandfather was, like most uh, rural people and most ranchers and farmers and so on, was so resourceful. From age four to 16, I got to spend all my summers on that ranch. So everything that, um, that we did, we sort of just had to figure out how to do. And that was such, he was such an extraordinary uh, role model in that way. You learn uh, a lot of uh, principles that carry you throughout life. And, and they all got deployed at Amazon. They're all being deployed at Blue Origin. I don't think you can do anything without that kind of attitude. I could only start Amazon because the heavy lifting infrastructure was already in place. This is what I want to do for space. I want to take the financial winnings that I got from starting Amazon, and I want to take that and use it to build heavy infrastructure for space so that the next generation of entrepreneurs can do what I did with Amazon.